side, baby, what's your angle? Know it's just a good time, tell me what's your table Numbers on the net again, you'll be going lap down In the set, one set, high tap dance Been about the bands, best stage, meet the band Press pass Hi, this is like my second day home I got home yesterday morning, I took a red eye I look, I've been trying to catch up on sleep But I still look so tired But I took a red eye from Portland to Seattle To Tampa yesterday I landed back home in Tampa At 6.15 in the morning Came home, slept for like 3 hours Did a full work day And then we went out and watched um, some of the March Madness games last time. We went to American Social for just a little bit. And then I came home and went straight to sleep. <laughs> I tried to unpack a little bit, went straight to sleep. This morning, I tried to take it easy and sleep in, but I have a work meeting here in a little bit. So this morning I just went and like did a workout, went to Target, showered, ready for my meeting. I slept in until like 10 o'clock, which is kind of a lot for me. So getting back on East Coast time for sure. But I want to show you what I got from Target. I'm trying to up my like home fragrance. Game. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I wanted to get some candles and things. I'm like starting to figure out what like notes I like, like the actual ingredients that go in the candles that I prefer. Like I love bergamot. I love, uh, I don't even know how you say it. Vetiver. Vetiver? It's probably French. I don't know. But I love that. So I'm trying to like find things that have that in that rather than like having to go through and smell every candle and like not knowing my style, I guess. So um, I got this one from Target and these are only 15 bucks and they're double wick, they're super good. Same scent, I got a reed diffuser for our guest bath. That was only like $10. I got this one, I believe is the, yeah, aloe and bergamot. Ugh, it's just like so, I love that one, so like fresh. And I love, so this one is in a completely unmarked base. So if you like want, like this is like a ceramic, it's actually really good quality. Um, so if you wanted to save it, you could. But yeah, that one's super nice, I love that. This one is seagrass and bergamot. So instead of aloe, it's seagrass. And this is in a shorter one. Same thing though, where you can save this ceramic and do something with it if you want. Um, and this is like the wood, the crackling wicks. Wait, that one smells so good, I love. This one is like way more masculine. And then the other two are way, or yeah, the other two are way more like just like fresh, kind of like spa smelling. And yeah, I'm obsessed with those. It was just like a candle haul. Let me show you what else I got. I'm due for a couple of new wedding planning videos, but I've just been like making the purchases and stuff and putting them in regular vlogs. But I picked up just a bunch of like plain candles to start playing with my um, tablescape. So I got just a set of two pillar candles um, because these are actually pretty inexpensive for like only buying two. I think this was only $6. And buying a set, like the per unit price when you buy like a big set, like of 24 or something, is still like 220. So the fact that this was three bucks each when you buy two is very a really good price. Um, I also found these, which I would love to find in bulk if I can, but they're jumbo tea lights. And then I also just got a set of like the regular votives that come in the glass. So my ambition is to do an entire mock tablescape. Like I can mock it up on one rectangular table and then that will give me the total items that i need for each table i just did a little makeup just so that it's done wait what in the i don't look crazy it's the light do i look better in this light <laughs> hold on let me get into a light where i don't look insane but today's st patrick's day i didn't really i left out that detail and everything was supposed to be tomorrow like the dying the river and bar crawl and stuff is supposed to be tomorrow but it's supposed to rain tomorrow so apparently they changed it to today but people have to work so it's kind of like okay what are we supposed to do now so i've been trying to coordinate with people but jared's still at work so like we don't i just don't know what's going on foggy's in town but he's with his other friend who lives here he went and like picked him up today because he has been driving around my car i was like i need my car today i wanted to go ahead and get my makeup done just so that it was done i'm ready to go i'll keep you updated let me try on this outfit i have like a outfit in mind that i could wear for st patrick's like with green so let me see what it looks like okay um baby's first low-rise jeans lol they're like low rise well they're like my definition of low rise i guess this is technically like a mid-rise but they're like still baggy um i sized up in these so that they wouldn't be like uh tight anywhere but 
I don't know if I can get behind it. I don't know. Like, I don't hate it, but like these, because I have to size up, I feel like they're just like not as flattering as they could be. But like, you need them to be up a size so that they're like loose enough. I don't know. I just have on my little like Fendi sneakers, which are cute, but I don't know. This is TBD. I don't hate it. Maybe like if I have a bag on, I would feel better about it. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie. You've been sleeping all day. You've been sleeping all day. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now my messy closet in the back. Focus on this. Are you awake, sir? Okay. Okay, like the whole picture. Maybe they're just like a little too straight too. I also wish that they were distressed. I feel like that would help. At a later date, I can distress them. I can't handle all that pressure right now, but this is what I'm thinking. Um, I just ordered a poke bowl off of DoorDash before we go out and wait, why does this look amazing? I'm so excited. Come on. No! Yes! Go! <laughs> Come on. Ugh. You're having girl problems up the back of you, son. I got 99 problems, but I'm busy. I'm having a breath control on the cat control. I'm forced to want to make sure my chest is closed. I'm ready to fix the stage. I'm ready to fix the stage. I'm from the woods. As intended, very, very um, much so on purpose. And now I'm supposed to be meeting my friends, and like she's like with a group of girls right now, and they're like day drinking and stuff. But I need some food before that can happen. So I'm meeting the boys are at like Bar Louie in the mall. So I'm gonna meet them there and just get something to eat, and then I'll go meet her. I need some bread. It was supposed to be super rainy and bad today, that's why. So all the St. Patrick's Day stuff was supposed to be today and they ended up moving it to Friday, like I said. And it's gorgeous out, like it's cloudy, but it's nice and it's hot. I guess it's supposed to rain later, but they really could have kept it today. I don't know why they did that. No classic. Oh God, sorry. Um, I just got Starbucks and I'm going for a morning walk. It's like pitch black, you probably can't see me at all, but I really had this vision of going on a walk on the river walk and like watching the sunrise. And I looked up sunrise and it was at 7.31. It's only 7.09, it's looking sunrisey. So like, I need to figure out how that actually, how that actually works. But 
yeah, that's my ambition for today is to have like a nice sunrise river walk with my coffee. So part A complete. Like, excuse me, you're not supposed to be rising yet. Chill. Baby, what's your angle? Know it's just a good time. Tell me what's your table. Numbers on the net again. You'll be going lap them in the set. One set, high tap dance. Been the better bands. Best stage, meet the band. Press pass, head on my chest. I ain't never messing. I'm never messing. But I still mess up. Kissing Nate, leave your drawers on the dresser. Booty pics as thick like an album. Saying how come? What's the outcome? Tie down and we tire. Backlog, all the hits, my entire body you working. Hot in my shirt, you swimming. We grinning. This is so sad, but I have to replace my kitchen candle with something else. Let me go pull one out. Fake it till you make it. I haven't had access to my office in like two weeks or something <laughs> crazy because like the girls were here and it was a mess and I was out of town and then I was out of town again and then Foggy was here for a full week and it was a mess and so okay, today's the first day I like came in here and cleaned everything up, got the bed back together, and can actually sit in here and like go on my video calls and stuff. It feels weird, honestly. Like I have not sat at a desk on, and been on my computer in so long. And I'm laughing because I have, I still have the samples, like the print samples that we got for, oh my God, basically in my job, we have to like approve certain things. So a lot of times the vendors need to like FedEx us the stuff and I never know what to do with it because like I have so much stuff like this so for the Portland project I keep kind of, I just don't say the brand name even though it was obvious but yeah the Portland project that we worked on um that I just got back from these were the backers for the menus we did really cute menus on vellum if you don't know what vellum is it's like that kind of like um more like lightweight like sheer like it has a little bit of like sheerness to it so we printed on vellum and then layered it on top of this backer and the pattern was a cute little um brand pattern of the restaurant that we partnered with or the bar that we partnered with um but like i don't want to throw these away and then these were other like we had two options for everything like white to green or green to clear we went with the clear that was way cooler um and this one was just like a different style like one of them is like vinyl so it's like a little bit more like white and then these are etched which the etched i felt like was way more sweet but anyways i never know what to do with this stuff good morning i'm making a little bit of breakfast i've been really into toast again i don't know why like it's just like the most decadent, delicious thing ever. But I try to balance it out with like some sort of nutrition. So I've been doing like one slice of toast with butter and then um, like a little strawberry granola bowl thing. Sounds really random, but it's been really good. And then been on my new coffee kick. This one, I just finished the bottle, but let me show you what it was. This, it's the Starbucks Espresso Americano Rich Bold Black and Sweet. Jared's been drinking this too and it really made me mad because like usually I can get like a full like oh there's still a little bit in here Loki I'm so gross I'm like let me not waste a single drop um but it's fire I usually try to get like at least four full coffees out of this but since he drank it I only got like three this week but this has been in stock so that's like the number one key I still haven't been able to find the regular cold brew that I love but this is like possibly better I don't know, but yeah, it's fire. Um, and I've been doing, I've been back on my bullshit. I was doing just like coconut or almond milk with um, my like Tarani syrups, the sugar-free ones, but I, I don't know. I just passed it in the grocery store and I was like, oh, I haven't had that taste in so long. That would be so good. And so I got it and it's been, oh my God, so good. So it makes me 
look forward to my morning coffee even more than I actually should. But yeah, that's what I'm drinking for coffee. But let me make breakfast real quick and then I'm just gonna hop on the computer again, which I feel like is what the last clip that you saw of me doing was. Also, I've been binging the latest season of um, Housewives of Potomac, and no one told me the season was so fucking funny, bro. Like, it, I'm on this episode seven or something when they're like in Miami and, they, and like Mia and oh my god, what's her name? Mia and oh my god, like that's how much I hate uh, Wendy. Mia and Wendy get into the huge fight and everything, and tell me why I was just like so fucking funny like i and like robin is like recording everything talking about how she's tmz like i just can't like it was hilarious and then like interstitching the, the footage from her phone like oh my god it is just like prime to, like people i think don't realize like if you're not a reality tv fan i think they just don't have respect for the art like it's just an art form and some people get it some people don't okay it's way later and i had lunch already but i need a snack and i've been obsessed oh i need to get them I've been obsessed, you guys, with these. I literally have like an entire bowl. Well, it's a, just the serving size, like it's not crazy. But I have a whole bowl pretty much every day as my like little afternoon treat, you know. Also my afternoon treat, I got these special edition Coke Zeros at Aldi. And they're just the minis because, you know, I'm trying to cut back. But this is like the Rosalia flavor. And I don't know why... I thought it was just regular Coke Zero, but in fun packaging, which like I'm all about, but it definitely has like, <laughs> it tastes different than regular Coke Zero. And I can't tell if I like it. It low-key tastes like cream soda, but like Coke. Like if you were to combine Coke and cream soda together, like a suicide, that's what it tastes like. So pretty. Right. Yeah. It's still cut off. Like it's still blocked. Thank you. 